the new poll from Investors Business Daily, the most accurate poll for the last three presidential elections by far, has us up two points nationwide. We're leading, number one. Early voting in Florida begins today through the 5th, so make sure you get out and vote or this whole thing, you know, the movement that they're all talking about all over the world, it won't be the same, folks. Get your friends, your family, your co-workers out to vote. Well, as we reported a few moments ago, Trump is indeed doing very well with the early voters in Florida. It began yesterday. Come on in, please. Blaze Ingolia, chair of the Republican Party of Florida. Blaze, are you absolutely confident? Will you pound the table and tell us that, yes, there is no question about it, Trump wins Florida? There is no question about it, Trump wins Florida, and here's why. We are seeing people already coming out and voting in droves. Um, in counties like Collier County, which is a Republican stronghold, 7,600 people came out yesterday in the first day of early voting, a record. Um, we're seeing a lot of enthusiasm for Donald Trump's campaign. We are not seeing any of that enthusiasm for Hillary Clinton's campaign. Now, I am told that the number of Hispanics registering to vote in Florida this election cycle is up something like 90 percent you're probably not going to get a big portion of the hispanic vote are you well uh, yes and no one of the uh, things that i've seen is that well the first thing you have to know is that um hispanics in miami which is a large cuban population they tend to be more conservative and a poll just came out a couple of days ago the florida chamber poll cited now this is a down ballot race this is marco rubio versus patrick murphy but 47 to 47 that is a democrat stronghold miami dade county and they're breaking even right now i think we may see a large wholesale rejection of the democrat policies and listen this Obamacare issue with mm. with things go with the premiums going up almost 25 percent that's going to be a big issue for Floridians is that your biggest issue because we've been reporting extensively on the impending and the ongoing collapse of Obamacare and the chaos that's coming you think that's the biggest issue for Republicans in Florida I think one of the biggest issues is the economy and getting this economy started again. And Obamacare is just stalling the economy. But what we have to remember about Obamacare is this is what happens when you have a Democrat-controlled Congress, the House, the Senate, and the presidency. When they controlled all three, we got this disaster called Obamacare. And people are going to be reminded of that now, now that these premiums are going to go up 25 percent. And that means <coughs> that the down-ballot races, you're going to see a lot of Republicans getting elected as a check on D.C. Blaze, you chair the Republican Party of Florida. I don't know your politics, so I don't know whether you're gung-ho for Trump or you're lukewarm to him. But where do you stand? Look, I am gung-ho for every Republican on the ticket. Our job is to make sure that we get Republicans elected from the top of the ticket, from Trump, Pence, to Marco Rubio, to all of our congressmen, to everyone, all of our Republicans running for office in county commission seats, property appraiser seats, and city councils. We are gung-ho for all of the Republican ticket because we believe that our policies and the things that we want for this nation are much better for people than what the Democrats are offering. If the, de if the event, I mean, sorry, the election, if it were held today, What's Trump's margin of victory, according to you? I think Trump's, look, it's going to be close. We, Florida has always historically been close. And there's nothing suggested, especially in the data that we're seeing right now, there is nothing suggesting that it's not going to be close again. So we expect a close race, not what we're seeing from the polls right now. Um, because, look, here's another statistic. 150,000 voters came out and voted in our presidential preference primary on March 15th that never voted before. These people are definitely voting in the general election. So anybody thinks that Hillary Clinton is running away with this isn't being truthful. And you have to ask yourself this question. If she had it all sewn up, why is she constantly in Florida campaigning? The Democrats don't even believe that they have it sewn up. This is good news for Donald Trump. This is good news for Republicans in the state of Florida. Blazing Golia, chair of the Republican Party of Florida. Thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.